Okay, so hey everybody, this is Cynthia Allen. Good to, to see you. And Larry, can you unmute yourself? I muted you. It's it's started doing something new recently, where it, should, <laughs> it mutes it mutes the fellow co-presenters, which it hadn't been doing. So, Hello, everyone. Good to be here. Glad to see you. Yeah. So uh, you got sound now, right, Dina? Yeah. Okay. Can't hear. Well, we're defi definitely talking. <laughs> so, I'm. Um, let's see here. Let me just write a note to her. Technology is terrific, especially when you know how to use it. <laughs> okay, so here All we right. are. We're here for there our first live cast. And what that is, is an opportunity for people to come on and tell their story of transformation and growth as it relates to, uh, you know, something in particular. And so what we're going to be talking about today is NLP success, and that's Larry's program. So there's going to be four people talking, we think, and uh, and Larry will be just introducing them and having a little chat with them. I don't know if we'll be able to take any questions, but we might. So if you have something you want to put in the comments, I might be able to ask it before we switch off and go to the next person. And, um, you know, so it's a brand new experience for us, so we don't really know for sure how it's going to go. So just, you know, give us a little uh, extra love for that, and we'll see what right. we see what happens here. We'll see what happens here. So we count on Grace a lot. Count on Grace a lot. That's right. So I'm going to actually myself disappear, and I'm going to add to the screen. And that didn't work. How come that didn't work? I see you. I know, but we don't see you now. <laughs> ah, there we there go. There we are. Okay. <laughs> Take it away, Larry. Well, it's just I'm really excited to be here and to be able to make uh, present these people to you. These are folks that are uh, have been involved in uh, NLP. Some of them relatively recently, uh, but Delmar, who you may see right here, Delmar Davis is a licensed. Uh, a massage therapist. He's a personal trainer. He has founded uh, a program called The End, End the Fight to Get Fit. He's a musician, a songwriter, author, I think. And um, he was in my initial, very first uh, NLP, Neuro Linguistics Programming Certification class. And so, Delmer, I would like, first of all, for you to, um, to let us know what got you interested in NLP to begin with and then how you got connected with me. Yeah, wow, listening to you uh, put forward that list of things I do makes me uh, realize the uh, uh, benefits and challenges of being a dilettante. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I knew as a as a body worker, I knew uh, Cynthia Allen through uh, through reputation, and we had crossed paths. And her uh, her role as a master body worker, um, not just in Cincinnati, but known beyond. And um, I have been interested in this question of why we don't do the good things we know we should do for our health. In other words, stuckness. And I was living through a period of that myself where I was especially stuck from a career perspective. I had gotten licensed as a massage therapist, but had yet to really find the wherewithal, direction, courage, whatever you want to say, however you want to describe it, for striking out on my own and living that mission. So I had done some experimenting. I'd, I'd read everything I could and listened to uh, all of the audio courses and everything I could on NLP and just found it in my own experience to be maybe the most effective and efficient behavior change uh, set of tools and, and tactics that I'd seen uh, compared to a lot of background and other forms of coaching. So I was trying to self-apply some of this stuff 
And then uh, finally, you know, we get to that trigger at a certain point where we say, well, I might just want to get some help with this. I might get an expert on it. And, uh, and I found out uh, to my delight that this character called Larry Wells that uh, Cynthia knew <laughs> uh, was the only um, certified teacher and master trainer for a long distance drive. And, uh, and so Larry, uh, as you recall, in, in two offices locations ago, I came to see you. Right. And um, in a single session, in a single session, Larry did some processes with me that literally got me unstuck. I sharpened my resume. I got a job change coach and I changed jobs to something that was much more fulfilling, much more supportive of my eventual transition before I uh, left my day job uh, for this life in wellness coaching and personal exploration, uh, gosh, almost five years ago now. Wow. Uh, and then I've continued, of course, to uh, uh, see Larry for tune-ups and so on. But when Larry did his first certification class, uh, I think the process of joining that was, hey, Delmar, I'm going to do a certification. And I said, when can I sign up? <laughs> I thought I'd bring this along to you just so you'd last from the past, the 2012, your inaugural certification. Like, yeah. Look at the bookmarks on that baby. Uh, right. Yeah. That's, that's really. even the old logo. Yeah. Oh, right. Right. Sorry. Sorry to mess with your brand, Cynthia. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. So so I found that uh, just to be so personally powerful and something you, you either encouraged or warned us about, Larry, is that, that I got into it as to get a modality for helping other people with their behavior change, but it ended up being life-changing for me. I mean, once you have those tools and internalize some of the uh, processes, um, it's just remarkable uh, what, what can fall away uh, as the obstacles from our paths. And, and one other thing you, you asked about, why did I do it? You know, seeing people as a clinical massage therapist, so I work with, you know, people who have various, you know, physical uh, disorders, injuries, and so on. And I came to see quickly that I was seeing people well down the chain of symptomology, as opposed to uh, most of what I was seeing people for could have been prevented much earlier through behavior change, through adopting um, fitness and wellness plans that we all we know we should be doing that can prevent us from having all kinds of, you know, physical, emotional uh, uh, disruptions and injuries and illnesses. So I wanted to work further up the chain and uh, found NLP to be, you know, again, the most effective and efficient tool that I could apply. So what it allowed me to do was to take my private practice to transition from body work really into life coaching. And uh, to the point now, I've got a couple uh, I don't know if this is the right term, like legacy clients as a, as a body worker whom I've worked with for more than a decade, but I primarily work in behavior change around fitness and wellness habits these days with the and the fight to get fit process and you know, helping people remove the obstacles to getting started and stick sticking with fitness and wellness plans. And this might catch you a bit off guard because obviously we haven't discussed this. Um, so it you're saying that it's really helped you in your practice and in the way you relate to it. How does it continue to, or if it does it continue to influence your own sort of, uh, you know, what kind of benefit or does it continue to provide benefits for you, for yourself as well as for your clients? Yeah. So, so Larry, you're implying that we might have under rehearsed this. <laughs> <laughs> I've been implying that we haven't talked about it at all. Oh, right, right. right. Let's see if I can see if I can keep up with you, which is difficult, by the way. Uh, what I find is that these processes, which through the training, as as you know, it's like uh, trying to model new behaviors and how challenging that is. They eventually become internalized, yeah. such that uh, a simple way to put it is: I no longer believe what I think. <laughs> And I no longer believe what I thought I believed. So, uh, you know, one gets the ability to look at, um, well, for me, 
at any place where I've come up against something that's affecting my health, happiness, prosperity, fulfillment, or freedom. And I would say only 100% of the time, the uh, <laughs> what's going on there is I've got some kind of uh, belief that's not effective. It's not aligned with reality all that well, or it's, it's a, uh, it's a younger part of me that had was was really useful when I was less mature, less capable, less resourced, that's still acting out. So as you had always said, we, we learn how to identify the part and grow the part up or to take uh, the, the, the strength. We, we all have these towering strengths that also have a shadow side if they're not matured or are put in the right perspective. And so the, the majority of the work that I do with clients, Larry, is about uh, uncovering and um, bringing to consciousness these beliefs, these parts, these presuppositions, these scripts that uh, have um, we've been enacting that are no longer helping us with our happiness, right. health, and freedom. And of course, uh, I, I do that just as an internal process these days, but I also have this community through uh, the cohort that I went through with, with certification and you and others that if, if I get stuck, I can call a friend and that's <laughs> really helpful. <laughs> yeah. Well, I really uh, appreciate that. I said this sort of disappeared. So I'm going to need to uh, be with her in, in just a second, but I really appreciate it. And, uh, uh, it's been a, a sort of a wonder to me uh, just watching and being aware of the uh, changes Delmar has gone through since 2012 uh, in, in career line and in what's happening with him, uh, you know, his, his personally. I mean, he lives just a few blocks from me and we don't see each other very often, but, but I, I, we get to, in touch once in a while. His, his, uh, his wife also took the training uh, later. Uh, they didn't take it at the same time, but she took it. And so the, together they, they've uh, become quite a... Uh, anyway, I'm just really grateful for you and, and your willingness to, to share with folks. And I know you're on this, this new adventure and we really wish you well. Thank you very much for joining us, Delmar. Hey, thanks so much for the invite and, and thanks for what you're doing, what both of you are doing in creating this amazing healing community. Thank you. Thank, thanks, Delmar. And I just wanted to also say that Delmar recorded a special bonus just for NLP success for people who sign up. It's uh, one of the bonuses, it's the bonus number one listed um, that really goes over his nine principles that he's using to help people in the fight to get fit and has embedded in it would you say nlp is very embedded in it so it's a chance for people to sort of see how it could be used in action yeah that that would be an understatement that it's <laughs> embedded in there so i don't overtly say this is nlp but every single one of the processes larry you can dissect the nine principles and say this points to this process this is <laughs> this is the other so it's a, a great example for uh how to practically apply um, processes and concepts of NLP to changing a certain kind of behavior. So it's all stacked in there. Yeah. Yeah. So Delmar, from my perspective, is, is kind of a, a, a walking um, example where he, he doesn't have, he have to think about it very much anymore about what process this might be. This is just, just part of him. And so, uh, so sometimes I have, you know, like here, I wanted to dig some stuff out for him, and it, you know, he has to process that. So, thank you very much. I appreciate it, and wish you very well. And we got to get together again sometime soon. Yeah, look forward to it. Okay. Thanks, Delmar. Cynthia, who's next on our list? Yeah. So uh, next up is going to be Brian Shercliffe. But I wanted to just say that um, to everybody that's on today uh, uh, are people who live locally, and that's because. Uh, Larry used to only teach the program locally. However, this last year, uh, he couldn't do that, right? He couldn't, right. Teach, he couldn't teach people in person. 
So last year was the first time that he took a program online and Brian will be able to tell some about his experience with it on online. And uh, let me get rid of myself here and bring Brian on for you and we'll go from there. And you'll um, need to, you, you get yourself unmuted already, great. Okay, well, let me tell you that I'm, I'll have to do some shifting here myself. Let me introduce to you uh, Brian Shercliffe. He is an author. He is, uh, he's got a, I'm right here on my notes. He's in, just recently gotten a, a book published uh, or is it's in the process of being published. He's translating Old Testament uh, writings into uh, more of a, a uh, what uh, cultural vernacular? Uh, yeah, the yeah. Language of, of our day. How would you say that, Brian? Yeah, some, something we might understand in our speaking today. Yeah. yeah. He's uh, he's also into uh, wellness and teaches. He's a fellow in Christ pra uh, practitioner. Uh, he's founded a, a nonprofit about 10 years ago. He's a yoga teacher, uh, healing touch practitioner, and uh, just a delight to have you uh, with us, Brian. I was so glad to have you in the course. And perhaps you'd like to, to tell your part of the story about um, how you got into it and, and basically whatever you want to tell us about, not just the training, but how it, how it has worked in your life. Wonderful. Well, it's great to be here. And Larry, I got to know you through Cynthia's training. So Cynthia, when... She's offering Bones for Life certifications. Near the end, we make presentations and uh, sometimes we get nervous with presentations, right? Even speaking to our peers. And so uh, Cynthia would invite you in to give us some NLP tips to begin to be our authentic self. And I was intrigued by those things. I thought, wow, this is really interesting. Um, didn't really have any clue what NLP was. Uh, and yet maybe, maybe I did because I had a chance to work with some uh, swim coaches back when I was a high school teacher in a previous life <laughs> who spoke with their athletes in a very different way. And so when you were inviting us to this idea of like presenting oneself in some kind of authentic way and inviting others to that kind of knowledge and experience, I was like, oh, this is like, that's, this is something that I know. I know something of this and became very intrigued and kept nudging you for years. Like, how about having a training again here at the Cincinnati area? Here, this is pretty fascinating stuff. So um, we set out to try to do that in person last year. We were the first group, I think, to do it online. And yes. I wasn't sure, like we, I think we were set to meet this, the first weekend of the lockdown, matter of fact. So it was, um, you know, we had every intention to meet in person. And I wasn't sure if I would like this online, honestly. I, I thought it would be a little bit like, eh. And it was really, really, really good. You know, even those, those first few weeks when we were all still trying to figure out Zoom, you know, even without right. help out, you know, uh, I, I got so much benefit. I just I marveled at the end of the sessions how my life was different. You know, and like Delmar, I've been dabbling in all kinds of other holistic areas and getting benefits too, but it was like suddenly, you know, you'd invite us in a process to well, bring up, you know, is there something you'd like to work with, with this? And after a while, I kind of ran out. I'm like, I don't know, I got anything else. <laughs> you know, of course, I would find more of my life later, you know, and like, oh, maybe I could do, you know, try this with NLP. But to be able to do that in the comfort of my own home too is pretty cool. Um, first training I've had where I was able to do that at home and Suddenly it was like, oh, well, gosh, it's not some, this, it wasn't just some great experience I had in your studio that I can't bring into my house. It's like, I did that right here, you know, and oh, I could, I could do that again. I'm kind of stuck on this idea. I don't know what to do. I could do that NLP process that I did right here. I'm used to doing it right here. And so that was just wonderful. Um, so, you know, the opportunity, the opportunity of COVID, you know, made that happen in many ways. And my life is completely different as a result. Um, you mentioned I, I'm an author and I've been working on this book for four years, long time, kept getting stuck in all these different places. 
in this translation. And so one of those times when I ran out of an idea of what to bring forward in NLP process, I was like, he's like, what are you stuck with? Bring, bring to mind something that you might feel like you're stuck. And uh, just like Delmar, and I used this idea for this writing, I had no idea what I was gonna do with this manuscript that I'd developed, been developing for years. And so, you know, we do this little NLP process and nothing came to mind immediately, but <laughs> 15 minutes after that, we had a little break and suddenly like, oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm starting to, I had all these ideas that I had to get out on paper. I was like, well, what about this, 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 and this, and this? And that began, it was that process that you led us through that began to open up that can of worms again in a helpful way and let those worms wiggle and figure themselves out. And um, that book is now at the printer. So uh, I was going to ask, uh, when is it coming out? When do you think is it? When's it supposed to be available? Saw the proof today online. I'll see a paper proof on Monday. And so hopefully in the middle of next week, they'll be printing. So, And the name of it? The Naked Path of Profit, Volume 1. <laughs> volume 1. Kind of that's a shocking title, I know. Excellent. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so both you and Delmar have talked a lot about it in terms of uh, your professional life. Uh, what's it... That has it impacted the personal life and personal relationships and those kind of things? Oh, even more so. Yeah, I, I think I, mean, I certainly use these ideas professionally, but I find that I use them more for myself. You know, and I, I, you know, get stuck with, you know, what am I going to do about this? Well, I always have like a meditative approach, and that is helpful. And I had, I could bring it to my yoga practice, and that is helpful. But it's, it's almost like now I think differently, you know, as a result of some of those NLP concepts where that begins to open up, like the way I meditate is now different. The way that I am as a yoga practitioner is different. The way I am as a teacher is different because of just this, it's something about the, those processes that you bring forward. And and I think it has something to do with the way you invite those processes huh. brought forward too. You know, I read NLP books and they're okay. <laughs> but I don't feel like it made a whole lot of sense until it had that personal signature that you brought forward that uh, in our training and continue to bring forward that I think it's suddenly now I can pick up a book and go, oh, I think I get what they're talking about now. But it didn't really make a whole lot of sense until I had the, the training with you. Yeah, and also a really important part of uh, of the of the training is the fact that you get to practice that stuff with somebody right at that time. Even even though you're in different locations, we put you in a you get yourself into one of those breakout rooms, and you you get to practice what what we just discussed right there. And you don't have to have it perfectly. You got the <laughs> the steps right there. You can just and uh, so that makes, I, I, you know, had more and more people say, well, you know, what's really important about that is the, the fact that we practice it on the spot. Absolutely. And, and like you said, uh, like, there's a, there's a great freedom in knowing that you don't have to, there's nothing you need to know to do yeah. first, right? So that you provide this nice manual that you could even sit and read from, right? And if you skip a step, it doesn't, it doesn't nullify the process, right? Somebody still can have a great experience. So it was very freeing in the training and very freeing now as a new practitioner too, that, you know, it doesn't have to be done perfectly for somebody to get some great benefit. Uh, the nice thing too, I think in the training is that you provide such good coaching, you know, very gentle coaching. I can remember the, the last session that we had where you gave me just a couple little tips that I still like every time I'm doing a particular process, like, oh yeah, that, that. And it just in, enriches the process and, right. and to be done, you know, you do that in a gentle way. You know, we weren't being graded. We weren't being, you know, it's just like, oh, lead something. And then you offered a few good ideas that were so helpful. So uh, Cynthia, was there anything you wanted to ask uh, Brian, or to comment about? Yeah, Brian, I'm I'm curious. I know I know you're not seeing a lot of people privately because of the situation, but I'm I'm curious in your interactions because you are are teaching online a lot, and you said it was impacting. I mean, are you 
having a chance to share some NLP with some people where you go, oh, I can see that they're that they're getting benefit or what's going yeah. on with you there? A small group of friends that meets uh, weekly that I, I give it a chance to play with some of these ideas. And um, sometimes I do it by the book, by the manual, I should say. And sometimes, you know, I run out of like, oh gosh, we just did that thing. But maybe I can kind of spin, like what Delmar was saying, I can spin it off this way you know, using those concepts and people get such great benefit from it. And, and it's not, you know, original for me, it's like using these very easy concepts and sharing them with people and people's lives being changed as a result. And I think that's the great gift of this, this kind of training is that you don't have to, I, I didn't come in with any therapy background or anything like that, you know? Um, yeah, this isn't therapy. It just helps people change in ways that they want to and uh so uh, and what it does also does that you're demonstrating is that it, it awakens the creativity within oneself and for you that's not not hidden very far under the skin <laughs> you you've been a creative kind of person for a long period of time but uh, uh but yeah i want people to understand that we have these quote techniques but they're sort of systems. They're not a specific, you have to do it this way, et cetera. Use it to fit the situation you're in. Yeah, and I wanted to comment too also about your, your uh, being able to learn this in your home. Uh, we discussed this in another setting, uh, Cynthia and I did with some people saying that, um, that makes the learning, that, that tends to make the learning more profound and not stuck in a particular situation. We call it, um, you know, this, this state dependent learning. Well, if you're doing it in your home where it's not my office, it's not related to my professional life, it's, it's here with me now, it becomes, I think, and you know, we've only done it once, but I think that it makes the, the learning somewhat more profound. I think, for oh. sure, obviously, I don't know what it's like in person, but I think for sure, I think that that whole idea of being able to do something in your own home um, can be great. So anything oh, thank else? You, we... Brian. Thank You're you, Brian. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm Thanks so much. You really appreciate it. And, and it's just spectacular, again, to see things that Brian is doing. Yeah. Uh, not only for himself and his clients, but for the community. So yeah, his nonprofit much. Vitality Cincinnati is really incredible at bringing holistic uh, modalities to people of a wide variety of socioeconomic backgrounds um, and really making it accessible. So just a beautiful job, uh, Brian. Thank thank you. You. Yeah, thank, thank, thank you. Thank you, Brian. Great to learn from both of you. So thank uh, you. Thank you. Okay, let's see who we got up next. Let me get, <laughs> let me get rid of myself and then see if I can uh, surprise you with another okay. person. Let's see here. Oh, there she is. So I'm not seeing what you're seeing. Who do oh, we have on? Well, we got Carol Montgomery. You can't see Carol? Well, I probably can now. I've done some things. Okay. Yeah, I see her name. I, it's off to the side a little bit, but I not. it's not her fault. It's my fault. So I um, <laughs> want to introduce you to uh, Carol uh, Montgomery. She's a physical therapist, a graduate of the Indianapolis Gestalt Institute and uh, the Institute, Institute for Integrated Psychotherapy. She's also a Feldman Christ practitioner. Ta-da, that's, a, you know, I didn't meet anybody that didn't come from Cynthia in some ways. But, but um, and she's also the co-creator of Integral Human Gate Theory. And Carol, I just want to say it's great to have you with us. And uh, good to see you. And very much interested in, in your story, how this happened for you and what it's, what it's uh you know, how to use it. Well, Larry, thank you so much. It's just my absolute pleasure to be here with you. It sincerely is. And, and I first heard about NLP 
and was exposed to it through my Gestalt training. So one of my trainers was a, um, a uh, apprentice like yourself in NLP. And so I was familiar with the jargon and I saw it demonstrated, but I never really understood it or could actually be able to um, actualize it for myself and with my clients. And, and maybe perhaps I did, but I'm, I wasn't conscious that I was doing that because after taking the class with you, I recognize that some of those presuppositions, you know, the umbrella from which we get introduced to this material, they were just like, oh my gosh, that's like talking directly to me. That's like who I am. Those are kind of like my presuppositions of life. So it was a natural kind of marriage, if you will, to um, embark on this. And I was like, Brian, you know, I wasn't quite sure how we were going to do this from an online perspective, but by golly, it worked and it worked well. And you just mentioned something about, you know, how it interfaced with your personal or your professional life. I, I did want to say that doing it online and doing it in my own home, there was something about that that allowed me to access something a little deeper within my own self. I'm, I'm a person who um, I like to look within and um, I, I have that growth mindset, right? That we speak of and I, I turn that inward and being at home, I think gave me a sense of safety that I didn't know that I needed or even wanted when I began to start to go through some of the interventions that we did or mm -hmm. the, the processes and, and such. So I kind of have to echo that with Brian. It, it did make a, a, a uh, positive difference. Um, professionally, I just want to say, Mr. Larry, that I think you are a master in this NLP. <laughs> I really do because I've, like I said, in the Gestalt training program, you know, we were exposed to a lot of different trainers. And so I deeply appreciated your, it's not just your knowledge, I think of the NLP. Larry, you live it. You live this NLP. And what I mean by that is that I feel that you're dedicated to giving me personally within that class. And certainly I know you did that with others, but for me personally, I think you gave me the resources, you know, you're, you're about giving person the resources they need in order to make the change. And I felt that with you. I, really I appreciate did. that. I think of it in terms of helping you find it, find those resources within yourself. It's not mm -hmm. something I possess and hand over. Um, it's the fact that I, <clears throat> I'm able to help you discover the resources you already have that are hidden and, and sometimes unavailable until you go looking for them or you expect to find them. So I appreciate the kind words, but, it, but I, 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 I want to help people, but, it, but I don't have a lot to give. I can help them find what they need. Exactly. And I felt that with you. And I think that is probably the fundamental difference in my exposure to NLP and being ex initially and then uh, being exposed with you and how you translate this material of NLP, because I felt that. And because of that, you know, I was able to, like, I'll give you an example. In my personal life, um, I... I struggle like uh, being on camera, right? It, it, this is not a natural thing for me. And, um, you know, even now I feel my, my palms are cold and they're sweaty, but you know what? I feel, I feel okay about that. And some of the just very simple one-on-one -on -one, um, interventions that we did and in like, three minutes, right? 
you know, because we're in our little triad group and right. observing one another. Someone's a facilitator. Someone is the, you know, participant. And within three minutes, you know, I learned a strategy that I still employ today. So even as I come on today to speak. So, you know, I take that with me. And uh, so I appreciate that. Well, I appreciate you saying that. I am um, also in another context, you kind of, You've kind of spoken around it, but not quite. Um, you made, once made a comment about uh, being surprised that it's uh, sort of spirituality, the, the mm -hmm. spirituality of NLP. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you want to say mm -hmm. something about that at all, other than the fact that you found it to be that way? Well, for me, when I think of spirituality, I think of, of the oneness that connects all of us. Okay. And within these presuppositions, we begin to find that which is that single ingredient, that oneness, that, that part of ourselves that leads us to um, a state of harmony, a state of goodwill, um, a state of connection. And I see that within these presuppositions. And it helps uncover for me that which has been out of my awareness or subconscious. And so when I begin to shine a light within my own self or help others shine another light, we become more aware of the parts of ourselves that may have been receded in the background or that have not been available up to now in being able to bring us all forward, so. Yeah, and for, for some who uh, might not quite understand, or we're not talking about religion here, we're talking about your spirit. And, exactly. And the spirit. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So. And, you know, when we do the interventions, for me, um, there's a sense of sacredness, right? And I think the other thing that happens, and you, I think most people will be surprised taking it online, is that there's a sacredness that goes on when someone is able to, um, I want to say, be vulnerable enough to look for us and into themselves. And also for the other person there in that session to hold the sacredness of and presence that's there. I mean, there's, there's not a time where I was like, Board or boy, when is this going to be over or, or anything like that? It was just like, it was engaging. And I think that's the other thing that you bring to it is that you, you set this format up so that it can be engaging for us. You know, your, your comment about looking inside reminded me of a presentation of, of a experience I, I saw a man leading a, a woman through a process she was clearly going deep inside and working back and forth. And you could tell she was thinking, yes, here, no, here, but, you know, and how that all works out. And, and finally, something just kind of broke through. And she said to him, did you see it? He said, I saw enough of it. <laughs> and <laughs> and she, he, he did not need to tell her that there wasn't anything for him to see. He just simply agreed. That something had happened and I saw enough of it. And for sure he did. It was right on her face. Right. <laughs> when it came, it was there and she responded physically. You could mm -hmm. see that huge shift physiologically, but I love that. I saw mm -hmm. enough of it. Mm -hmm. so. And you remind me that <clears throat> you don't have to, sometimes when we think of vulnerability, we have this concept in our mind that we have to, disclose something um, right? right and amazingly how much change happens from not actually verbally articulating or the disclosure of it but you you bring us into our mind with the process and that makes the change now that's why working helping people who've been traumatized uh, is that I don't have to know what happened, when it happened, who did it or anything. I don't need to know any of that. 
but I can help you through processes that, that you do internally that make all the difference. Exactly. So, uh, Cynthia, anything you wanted to add or That's very beautiful. Or ask? Carol, I was just wondering if you're noticing specific applications in your practice or, um, you know, I know you talked a lot about your own uh, transformation, but I'm wondering if you're noticing specific applications for you in, in your practice. You have a pretty full practice. I do. And, and as of late, of course, uh, a lot of my practice has been online. And I'm someone who's used to touching other people physically. And I now am trying to reach out and touch them in this kind of format. And I find that the languaging, the NLP languaging helps bridge that gap or lack of physical touch. And um, just the other day, and I had reached out to Larry in gratitude uh, at, through an email, I had a session with someone online. The lady in her mid 80s, I've seen her off and on since she was probably in her late 60s, maybe early 70s. And she had an eating disorder. And the eating disorder got kicked up in her 60s because of an event that happened. And it got kicked up again in just recently because of what was happening with COVID. And through NLP, I was able to take her through just a key insight that transformed the way that she saw her relationship to this behavior that she was doing that triggers her eating disorder. I mean, it was like uncovering something and it was so simple. And again, it was like, I was channeling my, my, my inner Larry, you know, I was <laughs> able to give her the resource that she was able to make that change. Right. And it was just like, she, she was, we both were, I mean, it just came so spontaneous and organic just by, I don't want to say following the script, but just following the intervention and being present to it. And, and we were both so moved. I, I couldn't help but cry. And of course she was crying and it was it, at 85, 85 in a life long history of, of, a, of a behavior that she was like, no one's ever said that. I've never got that. I made, never made that connection. Makes sense. And it liberated her. So, um, so yeah, I'd say it's, it's working professionally quite well. <laughs> I congratulate you on that, Carol. Well, Fantastic thanks. work. Thank you. Thank you so much, Carol, for joining us. We really cool. appreciate it. Yeah. My pleasure. I'm going to I'm going to let Carol go. We only have one more person to bring up and then if you all want to ask some questions or I can show you a little bit about the upcoming training, we can do that. And I'm going to bring uh, Nikki on. She only has a few minutes. Things have changed in her schedule today. Oh, OK, um, I'm going to I'm bring her on Larry. You can introduce her and then I'm going to give her the setup questions so that she can say the most important thing. Just on her get going. Mind. OK. Yeah. So Hi, much Hi, Larry. How are you? I'm well. You look great. Well, so do you. I miss seeing you behind the uh, the lights of, uh, what is it, <laughs> Iceland? It's good to see you. Uh, Nikki has a PhD or a doctorate in education. She's a yoga practitioner with all kinds of different specialties, a healing touch practitioner, and now an NLP practitioner. Yeah. She was just in the recent group. And I think the thing she wanted to talk about most today and then skedaddle on out for us is as is a, a chance that she had she's had many chances to use NLP, but she had a really moving experience that she's been telling about uh, with a particular student in a yoga class. Yeah. So, uh, Larry, I do want to say that you're a gift. And so is Cynthia. These are two dynamic forces, you know, oh. amazing. And I'm so honored to learn from both of them. And uh, in one of my classes uh, at a yoga studio, there's a woman and you're never surprised when people cry 
because sometimes when you're practicing, you're moved and things are released. And so um, all was well. And after the class, uh, she was saying she was going through some things and she missed the little girl she was and remembering um, how she used to be happy and she missed that. And so, you know, um, I think about what Larry said and he just repeated this about, you know, you don't have to know people's situations to, to become sometimes a guide, right? And so in this particular situation, as she had been crying, she needed to share and I was happy to be there, COVID safely, uh, but uh, she uh, was just saying she was going through some things. And so when she talked about being a little happy girl and how her daughter was a little happy girl, um, I immediately talked about you know these perceptions and models of yourself that we had learned in our NLP training where you can see yourself and you can hear yourself. And, you know, we learn about these anchors and anchors in your life. And hers was being this very happy-go-lucky little girl. And so I asked her if she would talk to that little girl and to recall and remember that sense of joy and freedom and happiness. And, and to make a long story short, this is like kind of like what Carol said, who I would say is my NLP sister, you know, from so many things that we've done together in trainings as, as Brian is my NLP brother. Um, it, but anyway, as I guided, guided unexpectedly her through this conversation of remembering and returning and connecting to the little girl she was who was happy, right? Um, there was something that changed for her and she was so grateful. And so I didn't see her uh, for about a month and a half. And, you know, during this holiday and seasons, you assume, you know, people are traveling and, you know, or staying well and, and so forth. Maybe not traveling now, but staying well. And so sh she came to the class and she said, I hadn't seen you because I had been dealing with alcoholism. And I went, she went somewhere away. Uh, I I'll say she went to another state for some healing, but she said it was a conversation that we had and her connecting to that beautiful little girl who was happy and free, oh my goodness, that gave her the courage and allowed her to uh, pursue some wellness and healing in that part of her life. And so this is a woman who is a mother and um, she does great things in the greater Cincinnati community. But I was so honored because you never know when these interventions, these processes will be able to, to shed light on someone's life on any given day. And I know um, Carol spoke on how it impacted her and I couldn't agree with her more in terms of uh, how Larry guided us so wonderfully and almost like a ministry to share information to us. Um, but it is such an incredible gift when you get an opportunity to share and be a part of somebody's healing. And I say that with the deepest sense of gratitude and humility. Well, Cynthia had made some comment about that story and I had not heard it. And I just wanna say congratulations. And, and what's, What's really important about that to me is the fact that this came out of Nikki, not out of some sort of professional relationship, not out of some professional plan meeting, or it's right. simply a conversation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that you had within you, you discovered within you uh, something that made a difference. And it was powerful. Um, this is kind of a connection to something you teach us about everything has a positive intention yes. and how that can be helpful for us to understand. And so we didn't go down too much of that route, but what was important for her was to give herself permission to revisit that place of joy yeah. and to know that she was worthy to experience it and to come forward into the present. Yeah, and I invite you to notice that this is, um, th this is a, uh, process by which uh, you dealt with tra trauma in reverse. Mm -hmm. The past was not traumatic. It's the present that was traumatic. 
She couldn't talk about the present so much, but you gifted her by bringing the past into her life. Thank you. What a wonderful job. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you, thank you for the guidance. Um, I will say I learned so much, not only like Carol and others said about myself, but, you know, through you and, um, you know, saying there's no failures, just feedback and, and just those wonderful anecdotes that you said. And, and I think I've shared this with Cynthia that I truly feel that you're such a gifted master and the humility and um, your ability to share and be transparent was so important and helpful to all of us. Of, we were all of different lives and different experiences, but you helped us to create even online, a powerful, loving community. Well, I just want to say that I'm humbled by the work of the folks who were in the group in the class and those people who have come through those those classes. This is uh, we're coming up on the fourth one, and uh, and I'm I'm just blown away by the things that y'all do. So thank you, thank you for being with us. I know your schedule is kind of here you. and there and everywhere, and so. You're going to have to leave yeah. soon. So There's thank you, Nikki. Is yeah, there anything you. else you want to say to her? Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, Nikki, very much. Really a pleasure to have you all the time. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. I appreciate you. And I think I, I think I see one of my uh, Bones for Life immersion sisters out there. Is that Lynn? Aren't you in our Bones for Life? Hello, <laughs> friends. How are you? All right. Well, thank you. It's always, you don't know these people, but that's the beauty of doing things online. You get to see a whole bunch of people at once, and it's a sweet treat. So actually, thank you. Actually, Lynn is going to become an NLP sister in real. Oh, awesome. Lynn, Lynn, do you want to come awesome. on and say something? Because you, you awesome. just signed right on up. Would you be okay to do that? You look fine, darling. You look fine. <laughs> <laughs> Lynn, Lynn signed up right away for the NLP success program. So she must have something in mind. She's another lifelong learner. Yeah. Um, I mean, with all the movement intelligence and going through all this training, I know that this is going to be perfect for rounding out my education um, to help me be the best teacher I can be. And of course, work through some other things in my own life. And um, I was actually getting ready to email and say, I want to be on the waiting list when the next one is available. We've been doing some of this in the learning body, and I just know I got to do this. This is this is this is going to pull it all together for me. So, um, and I just I love Larry, your your demeanor. You're so um, you're just easy to be with. I get this sense, and, and I really you know you know if you make it easy for people, um, I just get that sense from you. I've never spoken to you. But you yeah. bring a warmth to it. So I've seen you on the screen, but I have not talked to you before and everything. And I'm looking forward to a time. Yeah, I can't wait. So yeah. thank you, both of you. Thank you, Lynn. So thank you for letting me uh, put you on the literal uh, hot seat there. Oh, sorry. Literal sorry, sorry about that. I just suddenly thought, hold it. There's, there's Lynn. She talks about her sister. She is going to be a real NLP sister. Um, so, uh, just to say uh, something, if you have questions, why don't you go ahead and put them in the comments or you can raise your hand and I can bring you online. We'll be happy to do that. I'm going to tell you a couple of little things very quickly, um, about the, uh, process. So you can find out more about the program at, hold it, let me find it here and put it in your comments. It's futurelifenow online. Uh, dot com forward slash NLP dash cert C E R T. So I'll put that in there. It's open only for six more days. I'm going to just do a really super quick screen share with you. So this is um, the page for uh, NLP success. And it says right up here how many days you have till you can get in. And we really walk you through a decision making process on this page. So it's kind of long, but it's it's desire, it's there to help you kind of grab onto the pieces that I think will resonate with you. And you want to take your time to, to look through what you want. If you don't want to look through it and you know you want to do it, you just click the button up here at the top. And um, but I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here. And uh, again, it's in four modules, 80 hours total, 20 
uh, hours per module. The program is entirely online. Everything will be recorded. But if you want to certify, you need to attend 75% of it live. And then you get down here to some options. And you, if you, if you just aren't sure you want to do the whole thing, you could take just one module for $600. But if you know you want to do the whole thing, then you only have to start with $275. And then we give you a monthly payment plan. Or you can also pay in full and save $325. And so you get 80 hours of on, live online training, a small group setting. It'll be limited to no more than 30 people. It's a really detailed reference e-manual book that um, I think Carol was the one that made a reference to. Larry's also going to have some periodic office hours. Like he'll just sit at his desk and you'll know the times that he's going to be there. And if you have a question, you pop in during that time and you would get some uh, private information time to talk to him. There'll be transcripts from the sessions that will come out through artificial intelligence. You'll get a chance to search by keyword through all the transcripts or videos. So like you remember, there was this story about uh, oh, something about a phobia. You know, you want to you want to do something with a phobia and there was something in particular. You'd put in the word phobia and it will take you into the video and transcript at every single place. You can just hit the play button that the word phobia was used. Um, yes, it's Zoom. Yes, it's online. The dates, it starts February 12th, so that's why it's not open very long here. Going to get going. It's usually a Friday, late afternoon, early evening as the start. The next day is Saturday, and then the rest of the modules on Saturdays. They're four hours at a time. And um, actually, we asked the last group what was the right amount of timing, and they all said four hours. So that's, you know, you've got people who've experienced online now to, to let you know what really will work uh, best. Uh, Larry had tried some longer times, some shorter times. People came back with four hours. And uh, then you also get bonuses. You get this bonus that we mentioned from Delmar that is nine principles for getting exercise pretty much every day. Larry's going to give you a bonus spiral dynamics workshop, really interesting work on how cultures and individuals develop their value sets and how it's a, a stage-wise process. The integral model is Ken Wilber. Uh, there's nothing particularly humble about Ken Wilber. He thinks he can explain everything, <laughs> and he actually does a pretty good job at it. He studied 100 fairly divergent models and found a way that they could all be put into the same model. And this work has really influenced Larry and I a lot. And then the last bonus is an Enneagram workshop. Now, there's also, if you sign up by, I think it's Saturday night, so that's only two more nights. If you sign up by that time, you also get a private session with Larry. You also get a private session with Larry. So um, Sunday, no, it's Sunday night. So the 24th, yeah, the 24th. So that's like a really quick, really quick review of um, the program. And I see that Lisa has a question. She asks, has anyone ever worked with adults with high functioning autism using NLP? Well, I, I suspect uh, that's probably been the case. We don't, uh, as an NLP practitioner, I don't make or generally uh, ask about um, diagnoses. Uh, so I, uh, to say specifically, somebody came to me uh, because of uh, there were uh, because of their autism. I can't say that's true, so um, I don't know exactly how to answer that. Um, one of the things that would that would happen is and has always happens. Uh, you know, in our first uh, interaction and interview, we pretty well find out whether or not I'm going to be helpful or not. So uh, this is. And by the way, NLP is not a long drawn out. It's not psychotherapy. So I'm not planning on seeing you every week for three months or anything like that. Most of the time we, we will know, uh, well, most, much of the time, uh, I, you know, it's, it's up to three sessions. I seldom go for, for, for the same issue. Now I'll get people to come back for other things. So I, I want to want you to be clear that those bonuses about spiral dynamics and the integral model and the Enneagram are simply introductions. The, they're not 
um, you know, with full blown sessions and, and, and a full explanation. Ken, <laughs> Ken Wilbers has written a bunch of books, but his, his main books is, is called uh, Sex, Ecology and Spirituality, but sex meaning gender. Uh, to say that he's, uh, uh, you know, goes into depth, let me just say that that book has 250 pages of notes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I want to go. I want to go back and give my opinion on Lisa's question. Uh, so, I mean, I think one of the things that NLP practitioners are really good at is that intake uh, interview process of what is it the person wants to be able to do. So maybe they, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe they want to do something that, like a lot of other people, want to do. Maybe they have a habit they want to stop. Maybe they have want to be able to to talk to some of someone maybe they want to be able to be more comfortable around uh the opposite sex i mean these are all maybe they want to be less angry it could be any of these kinds of things that people you know all of us have something yeah, and so that would Mike. Larry would do an, an an interview that would help him ascertain like what is going to be the entry point that could work for this person so i would say if it's someone who's high functioning there's a really good chance that it would work very well yeah my main question is or one of the main questions is what would you like what would you like to have happen you know how would you know when you left this office how would you know whether you got what you wanted or not i don't treat diagnoses i deal with specific issues and that can be, uh, you know, kind of broad, but nonetheless, yeah, so uh, just just to make that clear, so. Okay, well, if there's no other questions or comments, I want to say that we really enjoyed having these, these guests with us, and um, let's see here, what can I, can I, add whoever's here back on so we can just thank them. Let's see if I can do it. I'm, I'm getting pretty spiffy with this spotlight thing anymore. Yeah. I'll tell you, I'm getting good at it. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Okay. So <laughs> I'll just, I, I know Nikki's already off. So thank you very yeah, much. Nikki's you guys. probably already gone. Right? So yeah. I want to say thanks to those, uh, to the four of you. You're just terrific people. And we're very glad to, to know you. And I'm glad things are going the way they are for you. Thanks so much, Larry, Cynthia. Yeah. Um, just well, a blessing yeah. to know you both. And uh, it's been great. Mutual, okay. so thank you. Okay, love to you guys. Much love to everybody else out there. And uh, uh, Bye, everybody. And you'll, you if you're not us. on our email list, you want to be on it. So, so send a, a note to support at futurelifenow.com so we can make sure you know about the rest of this program. And again, it's only open for the next six days. Thank you, Heidi. It's always wonderful to see you. Always wonderful to see you. She, she, we go back a long way. So, okay. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Bye bye. Bye.